Good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yutze. Here's a look at your top stories on this Wednesday. A day at the beach ends in tragedy. A girl died after she was trapped with her sibling in a sand hole in Lauderdale by the sea. The father was able to rescue his son, but witnesses say that girl was stuck underneath the sand for at least 15 minutes before rescue crews pulled her out. Both children were rushed to the hospital. Deputies have confirmed that little girl died. Officials have not released her name or her age or provided an update on the boy's condition either. Deputies are looking into how this happened. We are seeing exclusive new video showing the aftermath of a Miami-Dade police shooting. Detectives responding to a call about a possible stolen car back in November when police say shots were fired. Cell phone video shows Osvaldo Coeli on the ground bleeding moments before he died. The victim's family says Coeli was trying to stop intruders from coming onto their property when an officer started shooting at them through the windshield of the unmarked police unit. That shooting remains under investigation. A police raid leading to an arrest in connection with a jewelry heist in Aventura. Cell phone video shows officers swarming a home as they conducted a search warrant. They arrested Luis Martinez, who they say was one of three suspects who broke into the International Jewelers Exchange back in October. Surveillance video shows a tow truck crashing through the storefront before the suspects tried to break into the store safe. Police are still searching for the other two who are involved. And Broward County Schools confirming a sixth case of measles at Manatee Bay Elementary School. The school has remained open since the first confirmed case, but yesterday almost 20% of the school's 1,000 plus students were absent. The superintendent was on campus trying to reassure children, teachers and parents about the enhanced daily cleaning procedures. And now the Florida Department of Health is recommending individuals without a prior history or prior, a prior infection or vaccination to stay home for up to three weeks. It is unclear if the school will close if cases continue to rise. As breaking news happens, we'll keep you covered on air and online. Head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.